82 year old Warren Paschal is fit and spry and wants to get the most out of his life. But over the last 13 years, something's been happening to him that threatens his independence. Health editor Mark Ricard was at Piedmont Hospital today when Warren Paschal did what only a handful of others have done to get his independence back. There isn't much that can stop Warren Paschal from fishing. When I break a hook or something, I, I sit there and thread it up and put my lead on and keep fishing. No, not even being blind. I was going to work that morning and I was facing the sun and I got face I couldn't see at all. I just had to pull to the side. Pascal lost his right eye to glaucoma. Then the cornea in his left eye started getting cloudy. He had three human cornea transplants. His body rejected all of them. Because of organ donation, human corneal transplants are pretty common, about 50,000 in America last year. But between 5 and 10 percent of those who need a cornea transplant reject the human cornea. They become candidates for this procedure, like Mr. Pascal. Piedmont ophthalmologist Stephen Hamilton is performing an artificial corneal implant using the AlphaCore artificial cornea. We're going to make a pocket in his cornea, and we're going to sandwich this device in the pocket. We're going to secure it there with some sutures and leave it for about three months to rest. In three months, Dr. Hamilton will remove the protective flap over Pascal's artificial cornea to let the light come in. I just have that faith that I'm going to see. And uh, I know it will improve my life. This operation gives Warren Pascal the shot at independence he so fiercely wants. This is a completely blind person. Give him some, some independence again. Now, Get him back to his fishing so that when he puts another trophy on his wall, he'll be able to see it. Because the alpha core is an artificial cornea, the body is less likely to reject it, meaning patients don't have to take the large volume of medication that human cornea transplants require. In Mr. Pascal's case, that medicine could worsen the glaucoma in his remaining eye. He is one of only 15 Americans to receive an artificial cornea so far, but the only counting he wants to do is of the fish he catches mm -hmm. the first time he can see them. Oh, wow, I know that will be an exciting moment. And amazingly, as we were discussing uh, while we were watching yes. that report, you're saying that the cornea is actually incorporated in the body. Right, there's a three month waiting period when the, the, the real eye sort of connects to this artificial cornea. Then in three months time, Dr. Hamilton will have him come back, Mr. Pascal will come back, he'll remove a flap over his eye and he'll be able to see pretty wow. well. What amazing, yeah. always amazing to hear the, the newest medical technology. Yeah, and, and it's going to be, it means a lot for a lot of people. Sure. All right. okay. Good to have you back. Thank you. Thanks.